Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Morris Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing New Leaf straight in with another fossil. It seems like this is happening every day pretty much now. We don't even get a chance to speak and there's a fossil. Um, okay, you may notice a little tiny change. We have just shifted a house over here. Um, to, I can't remember whose house did we, did we move. Oh, Wolflings. We moved Wolflings house just over this side of the map to spread the villages out a little bit because they were all congregating in the corner over here and it was getting a little too much and it was getting a bit hard to find them all. Um, so, because once you search that area, if they weren't there, we didn't know where they were. So spreading them out a bit kind of helps the, make the search a bit more fun. It stops them getting all kind of in the same place um yeah so that's a tiny little change there and we also moved the uh lighthouse just to the edge of the cliff where we wanted it originally so just a couple of little changes there but nothing too drastic today we've got a pretty busy oh here this is where the house was you see we've cleared up a lot of space now which is really awesome um so we need to go and see if we've got any hybrids we need to build another public work project Talk to the villagers, of course. Any campers today? No campers today, which means we should have a special character visiting. Um, we had Gulliver yesterday, but no one at the plaza. Wait a minute. Wait, what day is it? It's Friday today, so we should have a visitor, definitely. Um, so that's weird. It won't be Gulliver, so there must be someone wandering around. Uh, but yes, we're going to try and give Dr. Shrunk some rotten fruit. We're going to plant a perfect fruit tree. So we've got lots of things to do. Might as well go and check out our hybrids at the moment. See what's going on here. Uh, oh, and I also moved the stumps. There we go. I just put them up here because I really love them. And it was so lucky that we found them. But they were kind of in the way. But it looks like we've got a couple more hybrids. Some oranges, which is really awesome. There we go. And this one. Uh... I think that's it. Oh, no. This red one is new as well. Any new ones down here? No. Oh, another balloon. Okay, where's our slingshot? Oh, good job that didn't hit. It'll be over the river. Okay, we need to move our... We need to think about this. We need to get some... Hmm, where should we put these? We'll have to come back. I don't want to lose this balloon. Can we get it? Oh, I think we can get it. We got it. Yay. There we go. So I can't wait to lay some paths as well because the path can come straight across here um, up to the bench. It's going to be so cute. Um, okay, so let's think about this. Let's move some of these yellow ones. And put some more orange ones down. Oh, no. <laughs> Put it in the hair. It's super cute, but we want to grow hybrids before we start wearing them as accessories. Um, there we go. Uh, oh, I thought we had an extra orange one. That's fine. There we go. I think it's, it really is just kind of a... a what do you call it? It's just a bit of luck until you start getting some of the real rare hybrids. There we go. That will probably do. We'll come back to water these later because it will take so long to water them. Uh, but I'm super glad we've got some more orange ones going. Uh, hopefully, the more orange ones we get, we'll be able to introduce even more hybrids. So, okay. What? What's their present doing over there? That was from yesterday, wasn't it? We never picked it up. We'll go and grab that. Uh, and then we should test... Ooh, weed! We'll test what Dr. Shrunk thinks of rotten fruit. Um, unless there's ants on it, because then we need, we need to buy a net. There's so much to do. Okay, let's open these presents real quick. Um, a balloon bed, of course. And a balloon sofa. <laughs> uh, we need to put those in storage and move them up to the... Uh, up to the museum exhibit. Any notices today? Uh, oh, just the fishing tourney. Tomorrow is the fishing tourney. Try to catch the biggest one out there. Who will win the trophy? We haven't won a trophy yet. We really need to win one. Uh, okay, so we've got a bunch of fossils already. We haven't seen blathers in a little while. So I think what we're going to do is go and see if we can buy a net. And come back and catch these ants that are crawling all over that rotten fruit. Ew. Okay, 
There wasn't a net in Super TNT yesterday, but hopefully there's one there today. Uh, oh yes, the fishing rod as well. Welcome, welcome, come on in. What is that? A dentist chair? Or is that like a beauty chair? It looks like a dentist chair. Hey, Claudia, we need a net. A net? A fine item, yes. The price is 500 bells. Are you interested? We'll take it since we lost ours to an igloo camper. Uh, luckily. Oh, by the way, do you know how to use this item? If you like, I can give you a quick explanation on how to use it. I'm good, thank you. Um, and we'll just grab a fishing rod as well because we also lost that to the igloo camper. Unbelievable. I'll take it, thank you. There we go. Oh, by the way, do you know how to use this item? If you like, I can give you a quick explanation. Uh, I'm good. Understood. Well, thank you kindly for your purchase. So happy. Ooh, what's that? A display shelf. I thought it was part of the um, exotic set for a second there. That was really cool. I don't know if you can adjust the height of things in New Leaf, can you? If you put them on the wall. What wallpapers have we got? A mod wall, is that the same? Is that like the black and white modern wall? Oh no. 1200 bells, no thank you. I was hoping it was the modern wall. A ranch wall, no. We need a cheese wall <laughs> to match our cheese floor that we found. Oh, kitty carpet, yes, this is what we've been waiting for. The price is 1630 bells, we'll definitely take it. Thank you kindly. Oh no! Since you're, we've got too much stuff in our pockets. Okay, let's uh, figure this out. We can get rid of... Actually, we could just wear the wetsuit temporarily. Not very fashionable, but <laughs> serves a purpose. I'll take the kitty car, but yes, we can put that on a house. Uh, in fact, we'll do that today. The ornate rug keeps appearing. What is that? It's like haunting us. Hey, Claudia. Thank you. Okay, so we've got a net now. Oh, and there's no ants there. Okay, we're gonna have to run around with our net and hope they come back. What we'll do in the meantime then is we're gonna put our kitty carpet in our house because um, it's really exciting to finally have a carpet that goes with some of the furniture we've got in the house. And plus, we kind of agree the Astro um, wallpaper and flooring don't really go with the Astro furniture set for some reason. If you missed the episode where we redecorated, this is what the house is looking like at the moment. Um, we, we might bring the Astro wallpaper that down here because it's much more kind of retail-like. Like... like like this, it just looks like more like it should be in a shop. So I think what we can do is spread the kitty carpet out. Yes, that goes so much better with the fruit furniture and the kitty uh, furniture. But because we've customized some of the Astro set, it doesn't really go with it. We, so we kind of need a wallpaper as well. Um, let's just put spread in room. There we go. We'll just put that there for now, and then we can put the Astro ones downstairs. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. I love the kitty stuff uh, and, and the Astro stuff. It looks so good. And so we haven't found any more Astro furniture in ages. I do like the ice thing, but it just, just doesn't go with the room. Oh, that looks, that looks much better. It just looks like it's supposed to be a shop. Um... But yeah, we can. Re this is kind of just. We kind of just done this to uh, make some space. But I think eventually. What is that outfit up there? Did we put that outfit up there? Um, but yeah, I think eventually. Uh, we'll rearrange it again. I was just thinking, could we do anything with it now? But. We need to order some more 7-Eleven stuff, really, because we're missing half the set still. Um, and we haven't seen any more minimalist stuff for ages. Um, what we'll do, actually, we're just going to quickly... Put these... In our wardrobe. There we go. 
Okay, I think we're set. Hopefully there's some ants there now. I can already tell it's one of those episodes where it's, everything's just all over the place. <laughs> and we don't actually get anything done because there's constant distractions. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think about bringing a villager over to this side of the town as well. Um, I don't know, some people don't like to do it and I don't, some people think it's cheating and we don't really do it to manipulate the game to, to our advantage as such. We're kind of just decluttering the villagers. Um, oh, our poor roses! We mustn't forget to water our roses. Um, usually I only use save edits to get the to get Philly um, and the 7-Eleven stuff because you can't get them anymore so they're completely locked out of the game unless you use save edits. Yes, the answer here! And so that's the only reason I did it but then it got really tempting just to move that villager house. <laughs> Yay! Tiny, tiny, I called an ant, an exuber ant. Well, not really. I wonder what my encyclopedia says about my new cash. I've never known the magnifying glass before. It's, I don't know if, I don't know if I've just forgotten or if it's like little details they add with the Welcome Amiibo update. It's hard to know. Okay, I totally forgot the fruit. Once again, I'm too busy talking, forgetting what we're actually doing. Oh no, pockets are full again. Oh, Lobo. Yo, Maury, I was looking uh, all over for you. Hey, Maury, do you want to play hide and seek to kill some time? Uh, you, could, uh, you could be it so I can judge your skills at finding people. So then want to play? Let's do it. I love the hide and seek game. I didn't realise that we'd get to play it again so quickly. Good, good, let's get started. And then we'll go to see Dr. Shrek. Well, I suppose the game with just us won't really be fun. Okay, then I'll find some more people to play. I was really hoping Lobo was going to ping about a public work project, but no. All right, then, listen up. Okay, we'll all go and hide somewhere here in town. If you manage to find all three of us within ten minutes, then you're the undisputed winner. Ah, we won't hide inside any buildings, so you only need to look out for us outside, okay? Hey, let's get started already. Ready, set, go! Okay, I'm gonna go and pick the fruit up before we forget. <laughs> there we go, and we'll take this to Dr. Shrunk. Okay, last time they were all behind houses. Oh, I forgot Dizzy moved in as well. He's in boxes, but we'll see we'll see him tomorrow. Okay. I think they're not gonna be behind hiding behind trees, just behind the buildings. Um please don't get mad that I just ran past the balloon as well. <laughs> Ooh, weed. And another fossil. How much we have got no space on us. Um we'll put our thing away there. Are we allowed to dig fossils up halfway through a game? Maybe if we if we're accurate we would be. <laughs> there we go. Look, I dug up a fossil. Now we, we've got low, we've got like seven fossils now. Oops. Okay, they're hiding better than I thought. Bunny, have you seen anyone? Hiding behind the light. Oh, Chester! Find you. Darn, I guess you found me. I never thought you'd look here, Cookie. The other two are really good at hiding. I don't know if you'll be able to find them. Oh, I think we will. I wonder what the record for hide and seek is. Oh, hey. <laughs> oh, what? How did you find me? I accidentally ran into you, Lobo. I'm so sorry. Wow, I must be losing my edge. That's okay. The battle's just begun. Good luck finding the last person. Oh, we don't need luck. We've got skill on our side. Maybe. Okay, anyone behind Wolf Link's house? N oh, there you are, Jay, found you. What, how did you find me? My hiding muscles must be way weaker than I thought they were. I give up. You somehow managed to outwit me this time. Well, I'll send you some sort of prize for winning once I get around to it. Oh, it's because we've got full pockets. Oh, don't forget. You, you owe me, Lobo. You owe me. Okay, let's go see what Dr. Shrunk has to say. I don't like being mean, but I'm really curious to what he will say about getting rotten fruit. 
Wow, this episode is all over the place. I'm so sorry. Oh no, it's closed! Of course, it's only 11. No! I failed again! <laughs> oh no, I forget that it's not open all day. We'll do it tomorrow, 100%. So sorry, oh my goodness. What a fail! Hey Blathers, please give us some good news. We need something to make this episode memorable. <laughs> oh dear, pardon me! Welcome to the Moriland Museum. Hmm, ooh, I might be of service. Assess a fossil law seven. Oh, what would you like me to assess? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Ooh, I do believe I found something that's not yet part of our museum collection. It's really most stunning. I believe you have a natural talent for fossils. I hope we've got some extra T-Rex stuff. I'm rather jealous. I hope you can perhaps convince you to assist with Moriland's cultural education. Of course, Blathers, don't you worry. Here we go. Uh, yep, we can make a donation and also donate our ant. Uh, ooh, only two. Diplo tail and a raptor skull. Nice. And the ant, of course. Ooh, oh, several things I see. Let's take a look, shall we? Yes, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, oh, there's no need for you to pull them all out. I'll handle the rest from here. We pride ourselves in exhibiting all donations in a timely manner. Thank you very much. May I offer any further assistance? Uh, no thanks. Then please enjoy the rest of your visit. Okay, let's go and plant a peach tree then, since we can't give one to Dr. Shrunk. We also need to be deciding on what kind of patterns and paths we're going to lay around town. So if you have any favourites that you've used in the past or you've seen any online, uh, DM me or send them on Twitter or something. Or, or let me know somehow and, and we'll, we'll see if we can start laying some because I really want to decorate the bit around the roost. Okay. We'll drop the... <laughs> Rotten one and a perfect one nearby just in case he doesn't like the rotten one and we will 100% do it tomorrow Where are we going to plant a perfect peach? Hmm. Somewhere near the campsite might be nice Another fossil. What if we plant it right next to the campsite? Uh, we're going to eventually want a path to come down here, aren't we? Alongside this. And they're normally two squares wide. So if we put it in this one. Uh, yeah, that would work. Because then we could have the path come down past the campsite. And then into the entrance. And also maybe to like something here. So yeah, this would be a good place actually. I'm glad we thought it through. <laughs> okay, so what other fossils did we get? Amber... Mammoth skull again. No, no. A dinosaur egg. No, we want um, T-Rex. Okay, let's check the weather. Let's see here. Looks like the weather's going to stay nice. Oh, good. Lobo, where's my money? Where's my prize? Yo, Mori. Good to see you. So, did you need something? Want to chat? Thanks for the night out ordinance you put into effect. Nights are pretty lively around here. I do nightly patrol, so there's no need to worry about town safety one bit. Uh, I'll be the judge of that. I feel like we should get a police station, in all honesty. Okay, let's go and check the money rocks. Nope. We should have a gem as well, actually. Um, is there another rock down here? Across here somewhere, isn't there? I don't know if there's normally a rock here. Maybe this is the gem. Nope. Okay, so I haven't seen a visitor either. So should we go and check the beach in case Gulliver is stuck? But I don't think you get Gulliver twice in one week. Or maybe you do get days where you just don't get... Um, visitors, maybe? Is that a thing? Hope not, because that would suck. Um, 
We've had Sahara. We've had Gulliver. I guess we're just having a day where there's no one. That's a shame. Okay, we could probably start a public, a new public works project. We're definitely not going to get uh, given the police station, are we? I'm going to have to find out because I think they're based on personalities. So we should probably find out which personalities suggest the police station. Maybe move a bunch of them in and increase our chances. Okay, hey, Isabel. Sorry for the random... Uh, episode. Uh, hi, Mayor Mori. Is this something I can help you with? Public works project. Um, I just try to think in my head the things that we need to do today. Uh, we haven't been and got coffee, but that doesn't really matter. It's not super urgent. Uh, you want to uh, work on a public work project? I'm happy to help. What would you like to work on? We want to start a new one, please. Here are the current requests from the townspeople. A couple of bridges, which we could do... Oh, we can have multiple instrument shelters. That's so cute. So we could have them like either side of houses or something. A well, a fountain would be cool. Clock. Uh, oh, should we do the fence? Or should we save that one? Oh, I don't know. Maybe we should... Uh do a cheap one. Let's do a park clock. Would you like to start the work on a park clock project? Let's do it. Yay, let's go and find a place to build. Okay, where's best to put a clock? <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe near... Is there going to be enough room to put it here somewhere? don't think we're going to fit it down the back of the roost, are we? Um, maybe we could put it here somewhere. What about in front of this tree? I'm going to shake the tree. Oh, money. Okay, let's see if we can get it quite close to the river there. Um, yes, May, is this where you'd like to place, uh, to place the park clock? What do you think? Well, let's see. It's close to the river, but I think it'd be very difficult to place a project here. Oh, no, how big is this project? From where you're standing, May, we need an empty section of land, one left, one right, and another two spaces back. Wow. Two spaces? Um, okay, so we can't go too close to the river. Strange. Um, can we get it down beside this? What about here? Oh, the cobblestone. How is the cobblestone in the way? Come on, Isabel. Help me out here. <laughs> Yay, it would be perfect. We just needed a slight adjustment. There we go. That's okay. What do you think? Is this the spot? Yep. I think actually that's good because we've got just enough space in front of it to have a path going to the left as well off the bridge if we need to. Uh, understood. Well, let's go ahead and start our needed preparations. All set. Uh, to help us gather donations to fund the park clock is is our helpful town gyroid Lloyd. It's going to be hard to wait for all the donations to arrive, so we have our park clock. Well, I must return to the town hall. Oh, you don't need to worry about making the trip back, Mayor. Okay then, I'll take be taking my leave. Isabel never gets any less sweet, does she? <laughs> hey, Chester. Hi again. Isn't it funny how we keep running into each other, Dr. M? So, how? Uh, what, can, what can I do for you? Let's chat. I've got a problem and you're the only person I can talk to about it. Oh, I really need a piece of fruit and you have a ha hands that are perfect for picking fruit. See where we're going with this? Uh, I'll get you some fruit. Yeah, no worries. Maybe we could give you some perfect fruit. Yeah, let's give Chester some perfect fruit. We're definitely saving the rotten fruit for trunk, though. There we go. Our tree's getting nice and big as well. 
Yawn. Oh, hello again, Dr. M. So, what can I do for you? I brought it. I brought you some fruit. Oh, you brought me some fruit. Here we go. Yummy perfect peach. We really need to get some other fruits as well. Some other kind of apples or something. Down the hatch. Mmm. Oh, man. That was so good. It was almost a shame to eat it, Cookie. Please accept this token as my thank. A righty desk. We'll take it, though. We can't... Beggars can't be cheesers. Free furniture. Thank you, Chester. Okay, let's see if we can find anyone else. Uh, wait, is this a normal... Uh, normal rock? Oh, it's the money rock. I wasn't fully prepared. I was hoping it was just going to be the gem. I don't know if I'm going to get the last one. No. Okay, lots of money though. Actually, we need to pay off our debt. We're getting a bit slack on the debt front. <laughs> there we go. Pay those in. Pick up these last ones. Not sure where the gem one is hiding then. Okay, now it's 11 o'clock, but I still don't think... It opens until 12, so we'll definitely have to meet Shrunk tomorrow. Um, okay, no one else is around. That we can see. Well, sadly, no special visitor today, so I think that's probably a good place to wrap it up. I don't know why we didn't have a visitor. Hey, Deirdre. Oh, dear. I made myself get up early so you wouldn't outshine me, yawn. So sleepy. So, is there something you need from me? Let's chat. Hey, this is kind of out of the blue, but would you... Uh, what would you use to replace a Papa Bear? I think I've switched my Papa Bear with something else the same size. Uh, if you know of any, uh, something that size that would work, tell me about it, okay? As long as it's the same size as the Papa Bear, anything will do. I think they're like four squares. We'll have to keep a look at it. But yes, uh, unfortunately, we had no special character... Um, but we did get to donate some fossils and catch an ant, which is really cool. Um, and also get some more hybrids, so not too bad. Uh, tomorrow I will remember to play after lunch instead, so we can go and see Dr. Shrunk. Um, so sorry again, it's been a bit of a strange episode. I, I can never tell if it's going to be fun or not. Um, but sometimes we just have to get through these things, so I hope you're still enjoying it. Thank you, of course, for watching, especially if you got to the end of the video. And uh, thank you to the channel members as well. Couldn't do it without you, so thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye!